Noticing a back and forth you're having with one of the motorists out here. What was that all about? Yeah, a woman just uh, yelled out of her car window, idiot, idiot. So I said to her, you seem silly and you've already lost the argument once you start calling names. What, what was her uh, point? What point was she trying to make? She didn't have a point. I asked no? her to stop and debate us. Right. I said, I'll guarantee you safety. I was standing next to an 87-year-old World War II vet. I right. said, well, hardly a mob. Uh -huh. I'll guarantee you safety. She says, no, 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 I don't try that. So I said, all right, pull over there and I'll come uh -huh. over all by myself. So and, had, and we can have a debate. So she had no comments about the health care bill or why she believes what she believes? All she had was name calling. Oh, boy. And she looked silly and she was made to look silly. Wow. Oh. So much for them calling you guys the uh, name callers and the uh, well, silly ones. Nancy Pelosi says we're Nazis. Harry Reid says we're evil mongers. Right. Uh, I, I can't think of the other ones that have been so disrespectful towards yeah. us. Yeah. Well, there was a guy in Washington. I don't know if you know, Brian Baird. He's a uh, congressman in Washington. He called you guys Timothy McVeigh type. Oh, yeah. Right. You believe that? As a congressman. Yeah. I mean, that's just like, that's tantamount to calling you a domestic terrorist. That's what he's calling me. Yeah, unbelievable. But if I was a domestic terrorist, I would be supporting Obama like Bill Ayers. <laughs> the unapologetic <laughs> domestic terrorist. That's a good point. Yeah. Very good. Thanks a lot. Appreciate it. Sure. Okay. Give me liberty or give me death. Sir, what do you think about uh, Harry Reid calling you guys evil mongers? I don't think much about Harry Reid. No? But he's a Senate Majority Leader. He's a powerful position. Yeah, I don't spend too much time worrying about Harry Reid. <laughs> what about Nancy Pelosi? Who? <laughs> wait, wait, let me scan you. I want to see if you have any swastikas stickers on you. And you say, no, no, no. So let me check out your back. I was born and in a country from America. I'm not really familiar uh -huh. with the people you're talking about. You're not any part of any neo-Nazi group or, uh, you know, any guys who... Uh, I've been accused of it by... Militia <laughs> group or... <laughs> You're not going to go work, uh, go into the forest after this and do some paintball shooting and uh, prepare for the... Uh... I might. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I do have gold. <laughs> right. Okay, so seriously, um, where do you think this is heading now, this bill? Do you think they're getting the message? Oh, I think they're getting the message loud and clear. Uh, we tried to be civil back in August with the bailout bill. Where, you know, the American, American people called Congress in unprecedented numbers telling them not to support the trillion dollar bailout and Congress disregarded that. So for anybody that thinks that they uh, that we're being uncivil now by getting in their face and being extremely, extremely direct, um, I have no I have no patience for. We tried to be civil. We blew 23, 23, 23 trillion dollars. There's no more time for civility. Now it's time for action yeah. and, and very, very bold. Yeah. commentary to these people. I yeah. think they're getting the point. I think they yeah. understand. That's a very good point you made. They conveniently conveniently left out the first stimulus bill that they rushed through Congress in the dark of night right. over the uh, over the criticism of everybody else and the complaints of the American people. They totally ignored that and now they're trying to push this health care bill through and they're wondering why you're upset. Uh, yeah. <laughs> they didn't listen. You know? right, they didn't and listen. Now and now we're $23 trillion dollars later so right. now they're going to listen. So. Right. so you think 2010 is going to be the real day to change, huh? 2010, the, the election motto, I believe and I hope, is going to be Congress. Turn it over like a pile of compost. <laughs> okay. We'll see about that. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thanks for being out here. Thank you. Okay, I already got you. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, Somebody should be interviewing you. What's I know, I should get hazardous duty pay, what, right? What, what, what's your opinion about things? Well, you don't oh. have one. Right? Yeah. You're just a sure. devil's advocate. Well, well, what I want to do is I want to get I want the American people to see what real Tea Party goers think, instead of what the, uh, the White House is saying and what the liberal media outlets are saying. And, and how are you going to get this forward to the American people? Uh, 
I'm gonna put this on YouTube. I've already put five videos on YouTube. Okay. When you okay. see my others, you'll see where okay. I stand. So you see that the American people are concerned about what's going oh, on. Oh yeah, it's incredible. And it amazes me that I'm, I'm supposed to be one of those white malcontent old people, and I'm not angry and wanted to beat anybody up, but I do want my country back, and right. I want to change. I don't want to see the power go to the government, as you can read on the back of this shirt. Right, we the people. The government for the people, by the people, not for the government, by the government. Um, we've drifted off our course, way off our yeah. course, and I think it's time that people start to wake up and turn around and say, hey, we got to get a new cap and we got to do something, but we got to get back on course because the way we're going now, we'll become a third world nation in have you ever years. been a uh, Have you ever been a political activist before? I'm not even. I'm not a political activist now. I'm just supporting right. people that are maybe are political activists. But uh, you don't make a statement unless numbers are counted. And the more numbers you have, the more power your statement makes. If you have three people complaining about something, nobody listens. If you have three hundred, they listen more. Three thousand, more, and three hundred thousand, a lot more. And, and that's the thing. Is get people to get involved, even if it's just coming down here and putting your thumbs up to somebody that agrees with you and smiling and saying, hey, you know, you want to talk about something? Let's talk about it. Is it, is it heartening to you to know that these tea parties are happening in all the states of the Union, all over the country? Well, I, I, I like the idea that people are starting to waken up. Like we've been so much too quiet, right. much too passive, much too complacent for too long. We've put much, much too much trust into our politicians. Uh, and we've basically wrote them a blank check to tear this country apart. And I think it's time now that the politicians themselves just have to understand that they're working for us. Uh, they're getting very good salaries, very good health care, very good benefits. Um, and I'm not envious of that at the fact that, you know, everybody that works hard for a good job is fine. But if you're getting it as a freebie on my dime, and I'm not getting my fair representation from you, if you're too busy, you're going on vacation, you can't read a thousand page document. That's what we're hiring you to do. That's your job. Um, it's ludicrous. It's like going to a doctor and saying, okay, doc, listen, you're good. I'm going to treat you, but I didn't read your medical record. I don't know what you're allergic to, but uh, let me shoot you full of these drugs and we'll see if you're going to be okay after the fact. No, I think we'd, let's look at my records and see whether you should give me that injection or not. And this is what Congress has to do. They have to represent us. Right now, they're basically representing themselves. Um, and it's not good for the country. Right. Uh, my family has been traced back to 1823 in this country. My grandchildren are ninth generation in this country. I have a vested interest in this country. Our family have been here a long time working to make this country as great as it is. Uh, for it to turn around now and be torn apart, it sort of gets to the marrow of the bone. Um, I don't want to see it happen. So if people can sit in that couch and say, oh yeah, this and that, and I can have political debates. I had one with my son this morning. He believes strongly to me. I said, are you coming to the demonstration? Well, I, I said, no, don't even bother. I said, I know you got the kids. You got to do this. You got to do that. I said, you can talk about it, but that's not as important as doing something about it. I said, doing something about it, if you call your congressman, if you stand on a corner and wave a flag, if you do a little interview like this and it gets to somebody's ears and says, hey, maybe he's right. Maybe we should do something. That's what it's all about. Right. Complacently, uh, people being complacent will just destroy the country. It's a time not, not for violence, not for tearing things apart, not for breaking things or whatever, but it's a time to get emotionally angry to the point where you're willing to force the country to hear your voice. Your voice has to be heard, and, and I hope that that's where we're going. This is the beginning of something good. I want to see the democracy and the republic stand for what it always stood for, freedom and liberty. And that's what this is all about. It's it's not just the, the, the health issue. I'm 67 years old, but I'm not concerned as much about the health issue as about the general course in which the country's going. I have uh, grandchildren. I'll be soon having great-grandchildren. And I want to leave this planet and go on to my reward, leaving them a better America than I, than I, than I came into. And unfortunately, it's going the other way. It really is. And, and if this gets on and, and if somebody's out there happens to listen to this and agrees with me or even just inspires him, God bless you. And uh, if you believe in the movement, join it. Yeah, I'll make sure it gets on. Would you like to give your name, sir? Uh, well, oh, yeah, okay. my name's it's not my, necessary. It's not, if it's not necessary. Yeah. Well, my name's Andy. Appreciate it, Andy. Okay. Thank you so much. You know, okay. Thank you. I need a government health care. All right. How are you guys doing? Good. 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 How you doing? How you doing?